Treviso travelled to Galway, having suffered a narrow defeat at home to Ulster in their previous game. Coach Marius Goosen could welcome seven Italian internationals back to his squad for this one. Connacht were looking for a third consecutive win in the league. And Pat Lamb made three changes with fullback Robbie Henshaw released from the international team. Owen McKeown and Ali Muldowney also came into the starting 15. Given that the sports ground also operates as a greyhound track, it was appropriate that the home side were quickly out of the traps. Inside the first five minutes, after some patient build-up play, Henshaw got up in support on the wing and fed inside to Fiong Carr, who motored his way over the line for an early try. Dan Parks landed the conversion from out wide. Connacht were 7-0 ahead early on. Matt Bergquist has been point scorer in chief for the Italians in recent weeks and he added another three to his tally with this penalty in the ninth minute. That made it 7-3. But it was a temporary respite for the Italians as the home side were soon on the scent of a second try and it arrived in the 13th minute. The Connaught pack were driving towards the line and Treviso were just about holding on until in amongst the massive bodies Captain John Muldoon was there to touch it down for a second try of the game for the men in green. Once again, Parks converted, and it was 14-3, just short of the quarter-hour mark. Connacht were in charge, but Treviso kept in touch with another Bergquist penalty midway through the half to make it 14 points to 6. Shortly after that, Parks made it 17-6. Then on 33 minutes, the home side made a decisive move. Once again, the pack doing the spade work before Kieran Marmium slipped over the line for a third Connacht try of the match. A nice little dummy by Marmium, earning his 50th cap and scoring his second try in as many matches. Parks converted again, and it was 24 6 at the half time break. On the arrow mark, Muldoon scored the bonus point fourth try and was almost a mirror image of his first with the maul causing the damage before the number six got the touchdown again. Extraordinary to think that Muldoon hadn't scored a league try for Connacht since the 06-07 season and now two had arrived in one game. Parks added the two points and it was 31 points to six. The Italians lost their discipline a bit after that, with Fernandez Royer and Marco Filippucci both seeing yellow with ten minutes remaining. And five minutes from time, McKeown, back after injury, got over for the fifth try of the evening for Lamb's men after a period of sustained pressure in and around the Treviso line. Substitute Mia Nicora converted to leave a final score of 38 points to six. So Connacht jump up to ninth in the table after a third win in a row. Treviso now 11th, just two points above Zebre in the standings. Final score at a wet and windy sports ground. Connacht 38, Benetton Treviso 6.